Hey, 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 it's What's Cooking. What is cooking, good looking? Or as Kathy Dunn would say, she calls you my Ed McMahon. Ah. I kind of like that. <laughs> right. I think it's the other way around. Right? Okay, so today we are going to make something that will be really good for the holidays. So butternut squash and pumpkin um, bisque. So I'm going to get started. I have my awesome Cupco knife, and Eric Gilman, the sharpest guy in town, actually taught me how to use it. See, I rock it, and then I can chop. So I'm gonna put some shallot. I haven't used shallot in a really long time, and I love the flavor of shallot. So I've got the olive oil going in the pan, and I'm gonna put, not this much, that's way too much. I'm just gonna put, you know, like my Cutco spatula amount gonna go in there and I will save that for another project because I have some food prep going on today. Hey Philip, mm. did you just get back from a very cool, cool property? Sure did. And what and was going on? The photography today. We started yesterday. Awesome. I did it's not mean to throw that on the floor. Or it's a over. large property so it took quite a bit of time because it's got outbuildings and all kinds of cool stuff on over two acres so nice nice yeah. lots oh. of bedrooms lots of baths lots of cool vignette areas all around the property for just having fun awesome yeah and the photography i mean we spent the whole day yesterday there yep. it's super cool about eight hours there yesterday and yep. about another two this morning all right we got that going in there here it's sizzling. Chef Deb is going to be happy because I have now a awesome little salt bowl and in it is that special white salt that she likes. I'm going to actually get it out to show you. Um, it's like extra salty tasting. It's called Maldon and it's flaky and it's very, very amazing actually. But you want to really kind of do this with it if you're putting it on top of cooked food. Um, it's really good to season your meats with, and you can actually buy it on that fabulous shopping center called Amazon. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this in there. I'm actually being a little generous because I'm putting a lot of stuff in this pot. Okay, I love this cute little spoon. All right, we have that going. I'm going to add a second bag. This is going to be very thick and creamy. All right. Got to make sure those shallots don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to put some of the best pepper ever. And did you know that, is it cardboard? That a lot of peppers I think, I think have cardboard? cardboard. Okay. Strictly pepper. I actually went to Major Market today to see if I could buy more. No. Nope. Could not find it to save my life. I haven't it's seen not it there on, in two years. It's not on Amazon, and I will literally freak out if we can't. Because I love we, this stuff. Jumbos. All right. Almost every time I've been to Jumbos, they have the Jumbos. Well, I'm putting a generous, generous amount. I think I got like five, maybe. We're out. Things of it. I well, think we have one. We've been giving it away again. Cause yeah. There's no way. It, I only bought it a month ago. I think it was a little bit longer. I think we have like one or two left. All right, so that's going to rock and roll and do some stuff. I'm going to put a little crushed red pepper in there too. So it's kind of the opposite of a, um, oh, and a little bit of, I'm going to put chicken stock. Stock market uh, was up today, even though um, the Fed announced uh, tapering of their reinvestment of funds. So huh. it's uh, that's been already factored in the market. Okay. So I think they had a meeting today, and when they came out and said that's what they were doing, it wasn't any better or any worse than what has been said before. So I think the market shot off right at the end of the day. Nice. Yeah. Um, by the way, this is the non-seasoned pumpkin. Do not put the seasoning pumpkin stuff in there. Um, it will not taste as good. I'm sorry, I missed, I missed you saying what you're making. I am making um, 
my own version of like a butternut squash pumpkin bisque. So it has um, a little bit of shallot, sauteing butternut squash right now. I'm going to put a little bit of more, more poi. More poi. <laughs> um, just a little though. Just a little bit a of the celery. Yep. <laughs> just a little bit. Gotta love Trader Joe's for already having this ready. It's the best. Mirepoix. I know we had to go to restaurants before. Back in the day, we yeah. used to. Just a few years ago, even. And God forbid I actually chop all this stuff myself. It just takes forever. Okay, so that's gonna go. And, you and there's fresh thyme. What's gonna? This is gonna go on tomorrow. And here's that other thing I never know how to say. Mas. Marscapone. Marscapone. That's gonna be the dollop um, when we serve. And uh, I'm still building this. I think it's something that you need to really layer and build. Got my Cutco scissors here. Um, this awesome salt. So I'm super excited about that property and how awesome these clients are. They're the nicest people ever. They are. Love them. I'm going to put um, dry time. And parsley. I never measure. That's why I suck at baking. I'm going to put some ginger. So my mom always said that the month of November, you should always start fresh with any of your dried um, seasonings. Because at Thanksgiving, everybody's cooking, so you want to buy all your herbs and seasonings that are dried. And so I always thought that was kind of cool that the month of November you kind of replenish. Hmm. Because they get old and they don't taste good. It's like a jar of mustard. Well, they, don't they just kind of lose their potency? All right, so that was ginger. This is going to be a little nutmeg. And then uh, that'll do it for those guys. Um, yeah, and then the other thing that's amazing, so if you're renting right now, um, which, you know, that's awesome to be able to do, and, and if you are doing it, there's so many great programs out there, right, for home buyers that mm -hmm. don't have to put 20% down. Yep. Um, interest only loans, like really good programs out there. But homeowners nationwide have captured over $51,500 of equity in the last year, and that's nationwide. Yeah, San it's Diego. better than that in San Diego. Yeah, San Diego is better. Mm -hmm. So, woohoo, that is burning my hand. Okay, so that is going to chill for a minute. I want it to kind of steam because I'm going to blend that whole entire thing. And then once it's blended, I'm going to add the can of pumpkin, some bone broth, and right before I serve it, like, 40 minutes before I serve it, I'm going to stir in some heavy cream. So those are kind of the ingredients. I think I said everything. I'm wondering how many people like me thought you were going to mix up some margaritas with that thing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Sounds good though, huh? Well, it's a little early. Right? <laughs> so seeing who, hey Lynn, there's Lynn from my hometown and used to take ballet with me. And I think I even may have taught her ballet at, at one point, uh, which is awesome. So uh, let's see if I can see anybody else. I can't read. I think Dustin might be on. Instagram? I think. I can't really see. It might help if I wore glasses. It's really beautiful out, too. It's super, super warm. Yeah. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. Like warmer? It's supposed to warm up. Oh, it's it is? It's supposed to be a warmer weekend this weekend than last weekend. Okay. It's really nice. And then um, I'm trying to think of what other things to remind people about. Oh, for sure there's lobster down at the wharf with Tommy Gomes at uh, Driscoll's, Driscoll's Wharf. Yep, mm -hmm. down in Point Loma. So go check out Tommy Gomes. And uh, we just went up to Matsu, which is Chef William, and he's open on Mondays. And man, that kid is talented. He is so talented, it's mind boggling. So we're trying to support our um, small business owners. Uh, I'm wearing Chateau Bellage, a dress from there, from Valerie. And at 2 o'clock, she does an 
actually a few more minutes she does her fashion distraction so I love this dress because you can wear it like multiple ways and it comes in lots of different patterns and again it, she's a female um, business owner located in Mission Hills but you if you live anywhere in the country or the world you can still order from her because she ships and does as I said that virtual kind of fashion distraction right mm -hmm. And Annie Benaroche is baking up the most amazing French pastries down on Faye Street at the old Sur La Table, um, where now Floral Palette is. She has her own um, bake shop in the back. So I was hoping to score something for this weekend for that special thing we're going to be doing. And we'll see. It may entail a trip to LJ, but I'm not sure. All right, let me, uh... oh yeah, this is powering up here. I just want to get this soft enough so I can blend it. And it doesn't smell um, anything like you think as far as like sweet because it's going to be savory butterscotch. Or butterscotch. <laughs> that would Butter be sweet. Butternut. Even a pumpkin won't make it sweet. You know, in fact, it has a little kick to it. It, to me. it does. Yeah. It definitely has a nice little uh, mm -hmm. kick to it. So anyway, that's what's up today, um, the Butternut Squash Pumpkin Bisque, and I hope everybody stays safe and healthy. Philip Fredrickson, anything you want to say? Uh, just have a great day. All right. See you, everybody. Have a great day.